I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Hello, I'm on a very windswept, very heavy showery day today. Um, basically, uh, I'm in a brand new 2021 Swift Challenger X. And I'm in the, I have to remind myself, I think it's an 835, I think. Oh, yes, X835, I knew it was right. It's 26,480 quid. Is it going to be worth it? Well, um, Swift have done some freshens up. Um, especially on the lockers, but I still just thinking, just my straight impression at the moment feels at the moment it could have done with going a little bit further with it. I think they could have done with completely redesigned lockers, but anyway, I've only just started the, the review. Anyway, let's get this review on the go and, and I'll take you around the van and let's see what we think of Swift's latest offerings because big fan of Swift, I think they produce some great vans, especially the Sprite range. Uh, which I've always seen as the benchmark, although Bailey's Phoenix is chasing it pretty quick. Right, let's have a look around. Well, I'm in this kitchen area. Um, latest big sink and the latest Thetford oven and also the Swift light up lap back, uh, back splash. Very uh, Universal Swift design this with the microwave built in there um, and just generally pretty much the same there really it's nothing's much changed what I do like about Swift they do put these nice chrome um, switch cover, uh, finish on it just doesn't make a difference on sort of just normal just a plastic black one it just makes it a little bit better um, storage well there's plenty of storage as you can see and wire storage um, and for your utensils and of course you say where's the fridge well the fridge is here and it's only a very slim line domestic fridge actually a fridge freezer but having said that there's a little bit plenty in there and don't forget although this is a four berth again like we always say Two people will probably use it. Up there is the uh, TV aerial. Now I'm just looking at this, and to be quite honest, just looking at this now, that would be quite a struggle to start messing around and adjusting that because I'm 
not tall and I'm about 5'7 and you would really struggle to find to, to adjust that they could have done with putting that in a front locker I think to be quite honest it's a bit out of the way and hard to get to to put up and down and, and twirl around anyway um, still in the kitchen bit of work top here if you like but it's going to be where people are going to put the telly or we'll put it on here on the wall cupboard up there again more sockets and this little bit of a shelf here that just feels more like an afterthought really than anything uh, later style the heating and a new swift control panel of course right um, kitchen then it's pretty good um, good work uh, good kitchen services and of course you've got your extension there which everybody needs LED lighting is at the top and as I say large big sink and apart from that that's pretty practical and good storage let's go in the at rear bedroom well to get to the rear bedroom you've got to go through the washroom but we'll come back to that in a moment now again this has got one of these layouts I like we uh, I looked at a, a Buccaneer uh, Bermuda I think it was I can't remember now which it was just off the top of my head but I've been looking at it quite a lot but anyway and that bed was the opposite way around it was it was on this wall but this again is a nice sort of feel about it it feels very homely very much like a domestic sort of setup it's like a static cabin if you want to put it out another way um storage again pretty good the normal wardrobes and the also the um now well-known duvet mattresses as well which are exclusive to Swift and are very very comfortable and they've been using them now for some years uh, one of those Dragon Den success stories now I quite like this sort of thing the padding on there it does break that wall up um, again above here could have been maybe a shelf but there's a place there to put your telly and a mirror there small cabinet and you've got the Aldi heating ducts all go around here. Um, this on here, yeah, that looks all right. It breaks it up, it just does look a bit stuck on, really. You, you, I don't know, I just wonder if they could have made another feature of that. But, you know, um, in Swiss defence, under lockdown, everybody has been struggling to develop new tours and new ideas because of everything that's been going on. So, what do we think? Well, it's an ample size um, bedroom on this twin axle uh, Challenger. It feels very spacious it's nice and light um roof vent i think it could have gone for the large hiking roof vent in there but actually to be quite honest i think that's a little bit skimpy but anyway let's go and look into the bathroom that's in the middle here you might just be able to hear that wind it really is very windy out here but anyway so you come into the bathroom and you can just cut that off now this is a really big bathroom it's a massive mirror you've got a big sink here but i don't know it's just it's very shallow i mean swift have been using that design for a good many years now um and they've stuck to that uh, personally i still like the normal bowl i think that would look better or if this was deeper um storage underneath is good and yes you've got a, a washroom window here which is again full marks um cassette loo of course electric flush and also storage under it's not very deep but it's all you need oops just move the shelf there sorry about that um roof vent yes you've got one roof vent there sorry about the light going a bit and on this side of course you've got your shower um and it's not too bad because the wheel arch just protrude through there and We've got some more storage here as well, quite like that. It's a bit dark in here, uh, but there is a bit of a grim day outside. But yes, you've got the shower cubicle here, quite like this, is all nicely finished. It looks pretty good. And there's a handy hook up there, of course. But very spacious, and you've got this radiator. It'd be nice to see a chrome one on there, I think. Um, at this sort of price, uh, nearly 30,000, I think that should have been the case. 
But anyway, let's go back into the lounge and let's have a look at there. Right. Now the lounge is quite spacious, as you'd expect with it being egg wide. Um, let's move that. And there's LED lights, of course, here with the spots. There's uh, the sunroof there and the upholstery yeah it doesn't look very exciting upholstery it's quite clean it's quite modern big drawer units here but I know it's swift still do this thing where if you pull that out that tips over so if you have a, a cup of tea or something there whoops your tea would be well over um, USB points plug sockets and dummy sockets here for extra again I'd like to see those being used again as main uh, sockets on there useful shelf above here the radio should be around somewhere oh. well, that, that idea was originally by Luna some years ago and everybody did copy it in all fairness not just Swift either where's that radio he said It's not there because why it's not there because it's a dab radio you fool and it's connected in here in this control panel so that is your radio up there I remember they changed that a while ago and I was just oh forgive me on that I'm uh, I'm just getting a little bit uh, yeah a bit confused it happens when you get older you'll find that out some of you but anyway let's have a quick summary well, this is the first 2021 Swift I've actually been in um, and it's a nice van, don't get me wrong, it doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, the seats feel relatively comfortable. You've got access flaps here underneath here and you've got alarm. It's quite a well specified tour as a Challenger X and the Challenger name spans back to 1985. So it's been around a long, long time and people know it. Now with the X of course it is eight foot wide and you get all to, you know, it feels very spacious inside. Have to have gone far enough. I think they could have done with just going that a little bit further on the interior with the lockers. I think the lockers could have done with being probably redesigned, maybe curved more, something like that, because those lockers are now starting to look a little bit dated. They've got rid of that glossy finish. That's great. That's gone. That was really getting beyond its sell-by date, really. But I think regarding interior-wise, I think they could have just done with upping the game a bit more and actually redesigning those lockers full stop. And making them far more attractive a bit like really they've got in the latest compasses uh, buccaneers that sort of thing because it would have been nice i don't mean direct copy but something that just gives it that lift up having said that there's plenty of plug sockets it's very comfortable the back bedroom is very nice it's a fantastic uh washroom in the middle there and you know you can imagine as to why people will buy the challenger x because of that challenging aim, it's been around such a long time, as I said just before. So people know it, they trust it, they love it. Dealers will always sell them back on again, used, not a problem. So does it live up to 29,480 quid? I think it's just getting very, very close because you're in Elvis Crusader money, you're in Bailey Alicanto money, um, and I think it's just getting quite a competitive part of the market, to be quite honest. And I think you've got to give people a bit more for the book. In the meantime, I'm sure it'll do well. And I can't wait to see some more Swift products. I want to see the Sprites, uh, especially. Um, I'll try and track down a non-dealer special. Plus, as well, I'd like to see their normal challenges. But, anyway, I'm here at Preston Caravans and Motones, just outside of Kirkham, near Blackpool. And, basically, it's a wet, windy day. Um... A lot of the guys are going around with the uh, jackets all zipped up, not surprised because of all the, the wind that blows across here in this time of year. It's not particularly great. So um, please keep watching, please keep subscribing and do keep liking. And also um, I'm hoping to bring you some more things over the lockdown period that we're approaching uh, this time this video was made. So in the meantime, stay safe as they say and... Um, 
I'll see you again and uh, I shall be doing some more reviews. Hopefully before, as I say, the lockdown comes in completely. At least one thing, manufacturing is carrying on. So by New Year, there should be some more 2021 models on the dealer's forecourts. Much to most dealers' relief because they're really desperate for stock. And you stuff is like, well, virtually non-existent. It's, uh, it's very scant. So, bye for now and I shall see you again soon. Bye.